Well, I think I've seen other animations that you can do is prototyping. But these guys like have pushed that limit. It's not just prototyping anymore. You can just write in Figma, create, animate, and also export as a Loti file, send the JSON file, and also give you the PNG of that file and the MP4. As you can see, like they have a lot of templates that they have here and how everything works. Yeah. Let's get started. I would open Figma file that they have created and you know click try it. A few moments later. So we are greeted like with this first screen. They have like an empty page and you can see run. By the way, right, this plugin is not free, but you can animate for free. You just have to export and some do some certain things. You have to pay a certain fee. It's small money, ten dollars relatively small money is what to try so this is an empty screen i already thought out the animation i want to do i'll hit frame and remember it only works with frame so animate on aninix it only works with frame so you make sure that whatever you're animating is a frame which i love because all you guys i used to use groups <laughs> so now it's loading if you look towards the right hand corner left hand corner of the screen you see that so this would be this frame and then i'll put a text over it so the text will be b o a r r d but um you can do any sort of what's it called um correction do any sort of things you want to do to it i'm just basically changing the color yeah create this guy nice so we have these two guys this way what we want to do is put two of them in an in their own individual frame just to give it spice now this guy is in the background so i'm adding color to it because it's going to be part of the animation as well now this the animation is supposed to be something that you know simple small but really helpful it's going to move like this come down and while this guy is going to you know not move it's going to be like this and animate into this length so i'm going to bring this guy down down yeah I think this is fine. So what I want to do is create project. Select this frame and create a project. This will always be here. Don't remove it. Then you are greeted with this screen. Now from this screen, you can. It's basically designed similarly to Figma. So you can hold the hand icon, change it back to the mouse, hold like drag, move around. You can export this is to minimize the window. This is for scanning layers with Figma. Yeah, like syncing the layers, make sure that like, it meets with Figma. And this is your timeline. This is where most of your edits would be, right? You can increase this and reduce this so you can see timelines. And I'll go back up here to the you know left hand corner of my screen, make it back the mouse. All these are like edit view, you know, cause all those things, zoom, help, release notes, discord, YouTube, websites. You can connect with them with their support and ask questions. So I'll select the frame from here. From the left hand side, you can see this board here. These are your, your timeline. This is time and seconds that are all here. All this is like seconds and time. If you've had any experience animating before, you would understand how this works. If you've not, it may be a little bit difficult, but there's no friction. It's very easy. You just know that this is your time. This is the length of how this is, is your time. And this is like frame per second. You would want to, you know, do this in 30 frame per seconds. At least it helps. You can export any, you can export MP4 and all of that in 30 frame per seconds. And they also save your project automatically like Figma. So now I'm going to select this board because that's the, that's the frame and this guy that's another frame so i'm selecting this board the word but i would push it up because i want it to come down right so i'm going to put it up and i'm going to set my first keyframe from here you can see the keyframe and the sign so this is y x axis you know x is you know going up y is left and right and this is like um your height this is your width everything you have in figma but now you can animate all of them individually you can even animate the colors so i will set the first keyframe not back here i'll go back to the initial time in the beginning in the beginning it's going to come from up right so i would set the first keyframe i would move my keyframe for one second because i want the animation to drop in one second and then set the second keyframe so what now happens is i'll go back to this guy and since that's my first keyframe move it down basically so if you know the exact what makes this easy if you remember the exact time where this is it just helps it so yeah but no no this is in reverse i don't want it to start from here and go up i want it to be up and come down nice so let's ctrl z that ctrl z no no yeah let's take it back ctrl z this is the first keyframe is up i'll move it to one second in one second it should come down right so i would drop it down in one second and automatically create another keyframe yeah so let's play this back nice it came down nice smooth it automatically added ease in and ease out so i want something else happen to this guy I want these guys to fade in from below. It should just fade in. Anyhow, I want to fade in. So it's the color that I would have to animate. So I'll click the color. 
take the transparency make it pure white so it falls into the background and set the first keyframe then move it i want it as this is bouncing once it's landed the color now animates you know it just feels smooth so i will now go back to the color and add and that and increase it back right automatically they would do their magic so this way you seeing it like this mm, that looks nice in one second you have simple logo very simple animation you can use this animation loading animation for websites that load slowly all those things are just explain it to your boss you know please prototype during meetings that's how i see value in the free version most especially because if you don't have money to pay for the like you know or your company doesn't have money to pay for the pro version and this is five seconds so i'm going to fit the animation now it's longer than five seconds so if i click play it just keeps loading so to fit the animation i'll come back here and click it fit to animation and the whole timeline will just store everything for 1.5 seconds nice you see it keeps going you can see it in real life you know that kind of shit yeah i want that's that's basically all i have for these guys there's nothing more i don't want anything to happen anymore and i want to export this right so to export this you can export as i said mp4 uh webm using gif as a loti now a loti files you can export and have like a json file for it and send to devs also you can export as a png which looks like a picture basically i won't be attempting to export anything this is because i have exhausted my one free trial however it looks nice on the web your devs can look at it you can all calculate the time that's the whole thing which is really really nice to look at by the way um don't forget to like and subscribe to this video thank you thank you thank you thank you so i think that comes to the end of this let's wrap it up i would say goodbye and let you catch on with it go to their website you will see how they work you will see the whole thing you see examples of animation that they have created using this plugin i will explore it more and if it's possible make tutorial videos about it if that's what you're interested in making in-depth tutorial videos leave a comment below and and i would get to it with that being said goodbye thank you don't forget to like and subscribe and